A Virginia Beach man in prison for causing a serious car crash in 2019 will be set free. Matthew Russian's case caught the attention of people across the country. Thanks for staying up with us tonight. I'm David Allen. And I'm Nicole Livas. Today, Governor Ralph Northam granted Russian a partial pardon. 13 News Now's Eugene Daniel shares details of the agreement and reaction from Russian's family and those injured in that crash. Matthew Russian is coming home. Governor Northam's partial pardon cuts down his 10 year sentence handed out just last year. The governor's office says he should be released sometime next spring. Last summer, Russian pleaded guilty to two counts of malicious wounding and one count of felony hit and run following this crash in January 2019. Russian's mother tells 13 News Now she is elated, long saying her son is autistic and not treated fairly the night of his arrest. In a statement, she thanked the governor and said this is a first step in proving her son did not have malicious intent. As soon as news of Russian's pardon broke, people flooded social media celebrating the decision. But that was not the case for Donna Cusick. And we are victims. And we will remain victims. She and her husband George were injured in that crash. She's recovered, but he suffered a severe brain injury. Cusick says her issue is not with Russian, but her family has been destroyed. He's not my problem. He needs help. If he gets it, I'll be happy. If he stays out of trouble, more power to him. I'm just not sure this is in his best interest. And thus, our concern is my husband, who cannot move, cannot talk, may not even know who we are anymore. Now, the Cusicks were visiting from out of state when that crash happened, basically right here behind me on First Colonial Road. As for Russian, again, that partial pardon is based on several requirements, and that includes the state parole board must approve his home plan, and he will have a parole officer for five years, as well as he must get supervised mental health treatment, and he may not drive for the rest of his life or have a gun as it stands right now. And if he violates any of those, well, he could be arrested and then set to be sent or to serve the rest of that 10 year sentence in Virginia Beach. Eugene Daniel, 13 News Now.